<laughs> Who are you? You are Rasmus Ramberger Bard. <laughs> Allegedly. Yeah, and you played, you topped the Swedish uh, regional here in Stockholm, playing what? Uh, Brave Watcher World. Insane. Okay, we'll take us to the deck profile. Well, so the Watcher World engine is like fairly standard, it's been playing ever since the deck came out. So it's 3 Lulu, 3 GG, 3 Lili, and 3 Rochi. Or, yeah. So you never change with this, you always want to see them. So, and I only play one Naya, um, because of e Telly going to 3. Uh, you'd almost, you'd always preferably see Italy over this, and because of like this, we're not playing desires anymore, you're never afraid of banishing this, and it's like kind of shit to draw. So even though I'm not playing like the needle fiber packets, like Italy is still insane. So yeah, that's it for like virtual world like monsters, and then for the actual like for the good engine of the deck, we play the we play the brave, so three water enchant, three enchantress, and one griffin, and yeah, that goes with it. It's three rights. Adventure and the equip spell. Uh, the equip spell is like really good if you remember it's in your deck. Um, but yeah, the, the engine it does so much for the deck. Because I feel like ever since VFD has been banned, the deck has kind of lacked something like unfair to do that like justifies playing it because like it's fairly bricky. But with this, like it give, either it gives you just an omni negate or it gives you an auto win and like helps the deck so much. So I loved it. It's definitely worth, worth the price. XD I didn't pay for them. Um, and then for the unfair cards, it's Scythe and Snow. Uh, yeah, these are all really good. Um, I love, uh, like, this card's just amazing on its own. Um, I never, res like, I resolved this, like, this combo once and I still lost. Smile. But um, the fact that, like, makes people have to, like, side and, like, play badly against it is, like, insane. So, I like it. And then for other Word for Word cards, uh, 350, 3 King Loan, uh, 2 Choo Choo and 1. Sean Wu. Uh, yeah, the same as standard. If you wanna, if you wanna see this? These are fine. You never wanna see this. But yeah, these are all good. Like it's been, it's been the same for like almost one and a half year now. And then for non-engines, I played three droplets. Um, I wanted to keep the deck at 40, uh, so I couldn't really fit in that many hand traps. So I thought like this would be better, and I would just yolo that it wasn't that wasn't gonna run into that many side decks, and I didn't run into that many side decks, so this was fine. Um, yeah, Paul by the grid, same thing, just generic good. Is they're easy to side out, like when they're bad. So because uh, I want as, uh, as I said, I want to keep the deck at 40, and that's yeah, that was the main deck. So for my extra deck for Synchro Six, we have Stardust, Coral, and Juju. Um, yeah, these were. They're all good, make them like almost every game. Especially helps going second. Uh, this is a st uh, shooting riser. I borrowed it, I gave it back. Uh, but that's, that comes that's an anime woman. Uh, don't question it. Um, <laughs> but uh, but uh, shooting riser is like really uh, really good for the sending either of these or post side send token collector. Um, yeah. And then you can fix and the fun, fun things with it. So either you synchro, uh, you make Baron and then Baron. You do the side play. You do the side yeah. play. Baron tag itself out, and then tag, and then you tag into Baron again. So fair. Or you well, comes out a lot, especially if you send the level four, and it's level. Th uh, if you can send the level three with shooting riser, so it's level four. Mm -hmm. You do side. You can then just make Shenshen on their turn, mm -hmm. which is also something that I think comes up way more. Because um, I don't think I made Shenshen on my turn ever, but I made it like that a couple of times, and then I played the, the Soul King package. Um, I'm not too sure about this. Like I made it a bunch and I was happy with it, but it takes up so much extra spots and it takes up so much field presence. That have, like fields, are, like zones on the field, it's just super difficult to make it like to to like, keep playing afterwards because it clogs up so much. But yeah. I think it's correct to play still. It was so good. Number million. Um, I'm not sure like how good this. I didn't play against that many trap decks mm. where it's like actually really good, but I, I think it could be cut for like. Um, or like something else for another like card that also like helps going second mm -hmm. and for xyc's uh break sword it's the only rank three i played uh it's good yeah no complaints no complaints there and then i played fan fan i love this card it's probably my favorite card in the extra deck it seems it's just so much value it just gets rid of so much many resources yeah uh, especially like insane as eldritch uh, m7 uh, amazing like especially post side just looping hand traps it's so nice uh, Beatrice for Scythe, uh, and then yeah, the Zeus play, with the Gareth Archer. Just the classic stuff. Yep. The class, uh, we don't play down there because we only played one rank 3. And then uh, Token. Uh, do, 
do, do, do, do. Here's, some, here's some other tokens. Yep. I, I summon this one because it is Beatrice. I don't know, I don't watch that. So, side deck, go back row hit. Uh, use this, because I think the deck is pretty good against back row. Mm -hmm. like, uh, most of the time, anyway. So these and you prefer the twin twisters to cyclone? Yeah, because you all you they already lose Lancia, so like so that's why I didn't play even this well, mm. because like it's I don't want to lose it harder, and um like most like most decks and some like like n not like the set five decks but like invoked um like the Domatica or Flanderies they yep. generally end with like two card like either two back row or they end with like field spell one set. And then you shotgun it in like draw more phase. value, more, more value exactly. Yeah. And you shotgun it in draw phase, so you bear on the trap. And you can play this because of Zeus. So right. uh, so I really liked it. And then for my uh, my hand traps, well, I played one token collector because um, I wasn't that sure how many like Aurora or like Brave Engines were gonna be. So I only want to play the one, just in case like when, for when I went first and I could send it, just mm -hmm. have it in grave or just sack draw it. But I never like that never come up. I played one. Deck where I sided it in. Yep. And then I was worried about like I wanted to make like play the hand traps that like beat DP, DP and scythe. Mm -hmm. So these are for like these are for Verte and these are for DP in itself. Because and the imperm in the side. The imperm in the side because I, as I said like it was either I didn't really have that much space in the main deck because I wanted to keep it at 40. So I played droplets instead. Mm -hmm. um, but when you go first. Uh, and if there's nothing better, you want to trade this for this because you don't really want to send cards and it doesn't matter that they can't respond. Yeah. So you'd rather be imperm. Uh, and then three Lancia. Yeah. Um, and I was very unsure. I think like these should have been mid before, like, for, especially since it's a regional. And I think this should also have been something else. I don't think I cited, I cited these cards. Yeah. I don't think I ever cited anything else. It feels like you don't see crow very much anymore yeah, inside, so it's I an know. interesting pick. Yeah, but, um, and it mainly was because it hits both sites and DP, because a lot of people like pop DP on their turn so that they can summon it back, so they can pop DP and Verte, yep. you can snipe DP, uh, because DP is like really hard, like really annoying for this deck, because yep. you just destroy whatever you target with it. But I don't know, I think this should have been something else, I wasn't too happy with it, but all these right. were all good, yep. I would have played it again. Okay. Well, that's what bad. What did you end up placing? Uh, I placed second. You placed second. What was the worst? What was the worst matchup? Uh, I mean, probably the one I lost. So I lost to the Tenji Brave Synchro deck from yeah. the Herman played. Um, yeah, I think that was like it's just a bigger combo deck. Yeah. I think. And he played. Way, they play way more like actual going second cards than I did, but they also play like, play sixty, so they can fit more. What do you play? What do you think? Uh, like comparing this to PK, mm -hmm. um, which one do you think is better? Stuff. I think I don't know. I think more people know about the like about PK, but I also think like mm. it's it's rough because it has to be some something said that I haven't seen people play PK okay. even this so like since since like the first tournament where Brave came out. But I've seen people play like variants of this more. But I think it's more player preference. I just think this is way more fun. Like I don't think this is this deck is like particularly good. Uh, like it's okay. But Go I mean, with whatever, basically. Yeah, it's it's, like, it's a whatever. Like yep. both decks just summon scythe, and then like hopefully you win from there. Okay, cool. Uh, do you have any final life advice for the people watching? Uh, no. Buy cards early so you have them for the tournament. Smile. Sounds good. Thank you, no Ramburger man.